Range fans, you saw that previous nightmare. And I'm back on the range, but I'm in a rush this time because I'm in a rush. Sun is setting so much earlier than it used to before. And also, I got some rain bearing down on me. But you know, from the previous video, I had a ton of problems. Is Tony Kidd going to come to the Savior and rescue SK Standard? Wouldn't even function in the previous video. Let's check it out. First 10 rounds, haven't even sighted it in. Took it all down. Let's bring the bubble level down, get this thing level. All right, here we go. Whoo! And a rush, folks. Let's see. Maybe it won't come to the rescue. Maybe it will. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a train wreck. Yeah, only had eight rounds in there, folks. Tony Kid to the rescue. Let's break out the rest of the ammo and see how the shilling barrel Faxum receiver does in the day at the range 22 smallest group challenge. Be right back. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, folks. Looks like old Tony Kid is coming to the rescue. Uh,. You guys know from the previous video, I was having major problems with this build and I knew it was in the guide rod and guide rod spring. I thought maybe the guide rod, it was a tad bit short, but when I got the three spring solution from Tony Kidd along with his guide rod, which is very smooth by the way, when I got all those parts and looked at the previous spring that I had, which I got off eBay, so who knows where it comes from, all my fault, compared to the Tony Kidd springs, wow. There was about that much difference in between the spring length, length, the spring length. So I think on the previous one, it was totally short. I went and swapped everything out as far as the charging handle, the guide rod, the spring, all for Tony Kidd. You knew it wouldn't even cycle SK Standard Plus from the previous video. And you just saw in the opening, I got it all to work. So I've got 10 rounds. I've put 20 rounds of SK Standard off target, off camera through the barrel. I've got 10 rounds loaded here. We're going to see what the old shilling barrel and fax and receiver will do on the smallest group challenge. I hope you watched the previous video to the end where I asked the range fans to show up in a big way for those folks that are hurt and hurting across the Midwest, especially in Kentucky that have lost everything. We can help them. There's a link down below to a state-sponsored website, secure website, that the governor, all proceeds going to those victims that the governor of Kentucky has set up. Let's show them what re-range fans are capable of. And hopefully today, I'm going to show you what this thing, 1022, is capable of. SK Standard Plus. Then we're going to move on to... Semi-auto, we'll put 20 rounds of it off camera and then 10 rounds on camera. And then we're gonna try SK or Lapua Biathlon X because it's cold out. I mean, cold out. 10 rounds, SK Standard Plus. All right. A natural point of aim here. All right. Here we go. It 
helps if you charge the thing. I've been uh, using bolt action so much here lately, I forgot how to run one of these things. Oh yeah, forgot about that. That's why it feels funny. The old Boyd stock at one stock. Let's get it adjusted. Oh yeah, that's it right there. One hundred percent not happy with the group, but this shilling barrel may just not like SK Standard Plus. One hundred percent feeding. All right, next five rounds. Man, I'm getting a couple of flyers out of SK Standard Plus. There you have it, 100% feeding. I think I'd like to do a little bit better, and I know it can do a little bit better in accuracy. We're gonna move this SK Standard Plus on now and get to semi-auto uh, from Ely, semi-auto bench rest precision. Again, I'm gonna put 20 rounds off target. We'll do that off camera, and then I'm going to put 10 rounds on target on camera. So uh, hang in there with me, be right back. All right, range fans, if you remember, we had a ton of success with semi-auto from Ely, bench rest precision. We had a ton of success with it in the previous video. We're gonna, I got 10 rounds loaded up, smallest group challenge, let's get at it. Let's get after this thing, all right. All right, here we go. Come on, sissy. Where's all that big talk now? Bring it on. Oh, yeah. I had that one flyer at the end, and quite frankly, I had the one flyer at the end, I think, because... I recognize I'm using the uh, rest stop on this ransom rest, very nice ransom rest, uh, rifle rest up front. So I'm using this rest stop and I noticed why I wasn't up flushed up against it. So I was moving the rifle around quite a bit, trying to make sure I was flush and getting the same hole. And, and there drove a flyer. There you have it. I got five more rounds of this semi-auto Ely bench rest. Are you kidding me? What is it with the last round, folks? What am I doing on that last round? I wasn't fidgeting that time. It is semi-auto Ely bench rest, and I will tell you, seems to be pretty good ammo in this rifle. Again, 10-22 build. This is a competition between me and my daughter. Uh, yes, I've got some, oh, uh, just some passion built up right now because she walked out with one of my dad can't say no to his sweetheart he can't say no to his daughter uh have a hard time saying no to his wife the ladies in my wife in my life are absolutely outstanding have been good to me very supportive of me and so i built another one shill and barrel faxum receiver timney ce trigger at one boyd stock fully adjustable with a little bit of ice coming down right now. So we're gonna take 20 rounds, put it off target and off camera of the old Biathlon X, 
And then we're going to take the last 10 rounds and fill out that smallest group challenge from dayatherange.com. We'll be right back. All right, folks, I'm trying to beat the ice. I put 20 rounds down range of the Lapua Biathlon X. Man, it's coming down pretty good. Oh, being on that highway. Anyways, put 20 rounds down range, off camera, off target. We're gonna put 10 rounds on target and on camera and see if this thing will compete. You tell me down below in the comments and hit the thumbs up if you think Sissy and I should go head to head in semi-auto competition. Let's get it. By the way, she's gonna have to fund her own ammo too. I ain't doing it. Are you kidding me? What is it with me in this thing? Then my camera battery goes dead. My main camera battery goes dead halfway through that group. But you guys tell me down below, is it worthy on a calm, nice, wintry day to get Sissy out here with her Kid 22 against this Franken 22 from Faxon receiver and shilling barrel on it? Is it worth the competition? Can I compete with her? You've seen her shooting. You've seen her shooting with that thing with SK Standard Ammo, which made me try it in this thing, but it doesn't like it. Uh, let's put these five rounds down range. I've got ice coming down. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. What can I say? Kid to the rescue. Woo! What is up with that? I think I am ready to compete. And yes, on camera, I am calling Sissy out. I'm calling her out right now. Bring that 1022, that kid 22, that I guess belongs to you, that seemed to walk out of my house. Bring that thing with you and let's get it on for the range fans. John, you too. You don't get out of this. You know what? One of my other daughters, she ain't treat me so right, team. She ain't treat me so right. She is yet to be on camera, yet to be on out here at the range with dad. She's been out at the range with dad, but she's afraid of the camera. You guys tell her down in the comments below, you'd love to see Jess on camera behind one of these 22s. I think you would. Hey, folks, thank you very much. And again, in a serious way, with a whole lot of passion and empathy. Please find it in your heart to share your blessings with the people in the Midwest, especially Kentucky, that's been so devastated, so devastated. I can't even fathom it. I, I, I don't even know what to say, but they've lost everything, folks, and they can use our help. There's a link down below to the governor's website, totally secure. I did my part. I gave what I could. I'm asking the range fans to help kick a little something in to bring those people something in this wonderful holiday season, Christmas, the raising of our Lord and Savior, December 25th. Help them out, folks. Help them out. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Man, I'm going home, getting out of this ice. Revolver guy, signing out.